right, for the warm-up today, let's start with a 400-meter run. Go a minute out, a minute back, just so you know where you're going uh, on the Metcon portion of the workout. After that, we're going three rounds for quality, 10 alternating den dumbbell deadlifts, 10 scat push-ups, and 10 20 mountain climbers. For these dumbbell deadlifts, make sure our hips stay square, our shoulders stay square. I am hinging back with my hips to get down to pick up that dumbbell and driving through my feet to stand back up each time. Chest stays up, back stays flat. For the scap push-up, set yourself up in a push-up position. Pretty subtle movement here. You are going to try to drop your chest through your shoulder blades and then press through your hands to push your chest away from the floor each time. Not a whole lot of movement, arms stay locked out, midline stays flat throughout. And for the mountain climber, you can stay down in that push-up position. One leg drives up towards that same side elbow and then switch back and forth for 20. Three rounds of that, and here's Coach Robin with today's Metcon Brief. Hey guys, so today's workout is called Ramsey. It is a variation of the classic CrossFit girl workout called Ramsey. It is a workout for time. It is five rounds with three movements. 400 meter run, 20 alternating dumbbell power snatches. Lastly, 20 single arm dumbbell overhead squats. So one monostructural movement, which is the 400 meter run, followed by two dumbbell movements with the dumbbell power snatch and uh, single arm overhead squat. So as you kind of look at how to tackle the five rounds of this workout, uh, the run is something that you want to be able to keep a steady pace on so that when you get the dumbbell movement, you can keep moving. The idea for this workout is to keep moving. So, after you finish that 400 meter run and you get to the dumbbell power snatch, ideally you'd be able to do those 20 dumbbell power snatches unbroken. But if the dumbbell weight is a little heavier um, than something that you choose if you were at the gym, because you're limited with options, no problem. Maybe do something like 10-10, where you do 10, shake it out for a quick second, and finish those last 10. Same exact concept for the dumbbell overhead squat. Um, where you can do 10 on the left arm, followed by 10 on the right arm. You can switch up the arms any way you want. I like to start with my weaker arm first. So I always start with my left arm, um, and then I would do the last 10 with my right arm. Scaling options for this workout. If you're at a place where you're not able to do a 400 meter run, or maybe it's raining, uh, what we want to do is we want to find something that we can do two minutes of work around. So this could be 100 double unders, 200 single unders, or maybe something like 20 burpees. You can play around those numbers a bit based on what works best for you, but ideally around two minutes worth of work. Um, scaling option for the dumbbell overhead squat. This can be kind of an awkward movement. So one option could be a dumbbell front squat where you grab each end of the dumbbell um, with your arm and you just squat that, that dumbbell. Um, if you do not have a dumbbell for this workout, you can use an odd object. This odd object can be anything. It could be a hardcover book. It could be a brick. It could be a, a, a bookend um, off of your shelf. Uh, whatever you have lying around, it doesn't really matter. Um, and the same concept would apply. You'd like to, you want to pick, be able to pick a weight that you can do this 20 alternating dumbbell snatches unbroken and 10-10 on each arm for the dumbbell overhead squat. That's about it, guys. Try to keep that steady pace. Kill it. Good luck, guys. All right, we're gonna begin with alternating dumbbell snatches. Hinge down to that dumbbell, chest is up, back is flat. In one motion, drive your legs, jump. Pull that dumbbell high and punch it overhead. You can see Coach Robin's doing some muscle snatches here and then is going to switch into some power snatches where he catches under the dumbbell in a little quarter squat. Up to you which one you wanna do. Similarly, up to you whether you wanna switch that dumbbell on the ground or whether you wanna switch the dumbbell in front of your face like Coach Robin is doing right now. Any of those methods works, whatever is comfortable for you. 
Second movement today, the one-arm dumbbell overhead squat. Challenging movement, get that dumbbell overhead, snatch it overhead, and then the goal is to stay as square as possible, maintaining an active shoulder, pushing up, up, up into the dumbbell the whole time as you sit into a full depth squat. You can change arms as needed. Uh, easiest would be to break 10 and 10, but you can break it up however you've got to do that. Keep actively driving through that dumbbell with your arm the whole time. Those are very challenging, so if that's not working out for you today, we can scale this to a dumbbell goblet squat. For that goblet squat, keep the dumbbell close to your chest. Your chest stays up, your back stays flat, sitting down into a full depth squat with your feet flat and your weight balanced. 